Hello beautiful people, good morning! Welcome back to my channel, this is Yvette. To those who are new here, thank you, thank you so very much. And uh, welcome to my channel and don't forget to smash that subscribe icon and also ring my bell so that you will get a notification when I upload a new video. So today guys, I am going to share how I apply as caregiver here in Hong Kong. So, um, karamihan sa atin ay um, alam ko madaming mga caregivers na nagtatapos ng kanilang careers course sa Philippines na gustong mag-apply dito sa Hong Kong or kahit saan mang lugar sa buong mundo. So, ito guys, i-share ko lang sa inyo base sa aking experience kung paano ako nag-apply ng caregiver. That was 2013. Ako ay um, nagahanap ng Um, caregiver agency sa Manila, sa Malate. So, kasama ko ang aking friends, school classmate, na she is from uh, Saudi, kasi nanggaling na siya ng Saudi. So, mag apply kami ng um, caregiver. Kasi katapos ko lang ng caregiver ko, that was 2012. So, 2013, yun ang inanap ko na mag apply ng caregiver. Uh, pero, hindi ko alam kung saan. Nag-try kami doon sa yun nga, naghanap kami dyan sa uh, Malate, tapos uh, wala kaming mahanap na agency na pwedeng magtrabaho as uh, caregiver. Tapos, uh, nagpunta kami doon sa SBE, yun yung agency na um, hindi caregiver ang inaano nila, pinaprocess, kundi um, domestic helper. So, nag-try ako doon, nag-try kami doon, at yun nga yung aking uh, video na tips how to apply actual interview um, as a domestic help helper. Yun yung nag-viral sa akin na uh, video. So, il ilalagay ko siya dito sa video ng ito, uh, yung aking interview, kung saan yun ako na-discover ng aking employer dahil doon sa video ng yon. So napanood niya yung video ng yon at sabi niya doon sa video kasi sinabi niya sa akin nung um, na hard na nila ako nung dumating ako dito sa Hong Kong, sinabi niya sa akin yon. Sabi niya, "You know what? I saw your video and I said, "Yes, I like this. I like her because she speak English fluently and uh, uh, she uh, delivered it uh, very nice and uh, my voice is uh, big and clearly something like that so I was <laughs> I was uh, overwhelmed I said oh really and then she kept on asking me if I been to the USA and then I said no uh, this is my first time to uh, work abroad so she says really it's unbelievable that's what she says and then I said yeah and she <laughs> She keep on asking how I learn to speak English and how I know English language. And then I said, oh, before when I was, when I was in Manila, that was late 20s, um, I really, really love to read English like pocketbook, like this thick. Not that thick because I don't like uh, to thick because I want in a book or pocket book I want the whole day I finish that uh, book because if not it's like uh, nonsense so I have a pocket book like this thick not too thick but it's just uh, good for one day reading so I kept on reading and uh, newspaper magazines all are English so uh, that's the reason why I learned to speak English and even my Grammar is not uh, as good as you know. I'm not fluently. I am not fluent on that, but that's what she says that I am fluent on English. But for me, it's uh, not good, <laughs> not enough. So um, that's the reason. And she called me by phone. I was interviewed by phone. That was December. So. From October 5 to December 13, I was in employed. I was employed uh, a caregiver in Makati. I took good care of uh, cancer patient. Uh, 
she has um, lung cancer. She passed away December 13, and exactly the doctor says that she has only like six months to live, and it's exactly what the doctor say. Before she passed away, she gave me money because it's December. She says, I will give you um, 1,000 pesos for your Christmas uh, gift and all that. All of her um, grandson, granddaughter, she gave everything and it's like she is really prepared and ready. So all her clothes, we uh, took it off and uh, you know, give to the other people and yeah. After she passed away, exactly, my employer called me and she is asking about my um, experience as a caregiver. I told them that I was employed but my patient just passed away. So that is really a perfect time for me because, uh, you know, my patient passed away and then I got a call and another job. You know and uh, she asked me if uh, how to feed if I know how to feed I said yes because I studied that so uh, NGT feeding and how to feed how to how you take good care of bedridden elderly she asked me if how many degrees if you feed NGT and bedridden elderly on bed and I said 40 to 60 degrees and she said okay and the exact answer is 40 to 60 but usually 40 because 60 is like too too high good uh, elevation or positioning the patient so she asked me if I know how to change diaper and I know how if I know how to do that and then um, I said yes just uh, turn her left and right and carefully do the changing she also asked me if I, how I, uh, you know, the hygiene, proper hygiene, and how to wipe. Of course, from the top to bottom, not from the bottom to the top. Always like that because we don't want to contaminate the clean to dirt one. So I learned this because I study. I study at, uh, if you know PDAB, or PWU, Philippine Women's University. Uh, that's my school um, caregiver caregiving course. So I studied that for seven months. Uh, one month in the hospital OJT, and uh, in the OJT, we are assigned in different uh, stations. I s assigned in the different stations. I know I handle patient and. Uh, uh, take blood pressure, uh, take um, temperature, shaving, something like that. So yeah, and I am very glad because, you know, I really use what I study from my caregiving course. And after that, when I came here, six months of preparation before I handle the patient. They sent me to the career course here. I think, I think um, three months of uh, going to that school, and they paid like 300 Hong Kong dollars. And um, so it's another um, another knowledge for me because all the people there are Chinese and uh, some are Indonesians. Uh, so um, yeah, it's additional knowledge for me, and it's uh, really challenging for me. I trained, yeah, six months of training before I uh, hands on. I um, watch them how to prepare milk and how to, you know, um, take good care of her and everything. To those who are a caregiver there, and you know how to handle patient you can come here in hong kong and apply next time uh, next video i am going to share about 
how to apply here in Hong Kong as a caregiver okay so thank you so very much guys for watching and don't forget to smash that subscribe icon and also ring my bell so that you will get a notification when I upload a new video so thank you so very much guys and see you next time again bye